The Museum of Flight is a private non-profit air and space museum in the northwest United States. It is located at the southern end of King County International Airport, Boeing Field, in the city of Tukwila, just south of Seattle. It was established in 1965 and is fully accredited by the American Alliance of Museums. As the largest private air and space museum in the world, it also hosts the largest K-12 educational programs in the world. The museum attracts over 500,000 visitors every year. The museum serves more than 140,000 students yearly through both its on-site programs, a Challenger Learning Center, an Aviation Learning Center, and a Summer Camp ACE, as well as outreach programs that travel throughout Washington and Oregon. History The Museum of Flight can trace its roots back to the Pacific Northwest Aviation Historical Foundation, which was founded in 1965 to recover and restore a 1929 Boeing 80A1, which had been discovered in Anchorage, Alaska. The restoration took place over a 16-year period, and after completion, was put on display as a centerpiece for the museum. In 1968, the name, Museum of Flight, first appeared in use in a 10,000-square-foot facility, rented at the Seattle Center. Planning began at this time for a more permanent structure, and preliminary concepts were drafted. In 1975, the William E. Boeing Red Barn was acquired for $1 from the Port of Seattle, which had taken possession of it after Boeing abandoned it during World War II. The 1909 All Wooden Red Barn, the original home of the company, was barged two miles three kilometers up the Duwamish River to its current location at the southwestern end of Boeing Field. Fundraising was slow in the late 1970s, and after restoration, the two-story Red Barn was opened to the public in 1983. That year a funding campaign was launched, so capital could be raised for construction of the T.A. Wilson Great Gallery. In 1987, Vice President George Bush, joined by four Mercury astronauts, cut the ribbon to open the facility on July 10, with an expansive volume of 3 million cubic feet cubic meters. The gallery's structure is built in a spaceframe lattice structure and holds more than 20 hanging aircraft, including a Douglas DC-3 weighing more than 9 tons. The museum's education programs grew significantly with the building of a Challenger Learning Center in 1992. This interactive exhibit allows students to experience a space shuttle mission. It includes a mock-up NASA mission control, and experiments from all areas of space research. Space research. Completed in 1994, the 132-seat Wings Café and the 250-seat Skyline Multipurpose Banquet and Meeting Room increased the museum's footprint to 185,000 square feet square meters. At the same time, one of the museum's most widely recognized and popular artifacts, the Lockheed M21, a modified Lockheed A-12 Oxcart designed to carry the Lockheed D-21 reconnaissance drones, was placed on the floor at the center of the Great Gallery. After being fully restored, the first jet-powered Air Force One 1959-62, Sam 970, a Boeing VC-137B, was flown to Boeing Field in 1996. It arrived arrived in June and was opened to visitors in October. Retired from active service earlier that year, it is on loan from the Air Force Museum. Originally parked on the east side of the museum, it was driven across East Marginal Way and now resides in the museum's airpark, where it is open to public walkthroughs. In 1997, the museum opened the first full-scale, interactive air traffic control tower exhibit. The tower overlooks the Boeing Field runways, home to one of the 30 busiest airports in the country. The exhibit offers a glimpse into what it is like to be an air traffic controller. The next major expansion was opened in 2004, with the addition of the J. L. Roy McCaw Personal Courage Wing. North of the Red Barn, the wing has 88,000 square feet 8, square meters of exhibit space on two floors, with more than 25 World War I and World War II aircraft. 
It also has large collection of model aircraft, including every plane from both wars. Many of these aircraft were from the collection of the Champlain Fighter Museum, formerly in Mesa, Arizona, which closed in 2003. The wing opened on June 6, the 60th anniversary of D-Day. In June 2010, the museum broke ground on a $12 million new building to house a space shuttle it hoped to receive from NASA, named the Charles C. Monnier Space Gallery. The new building includes multisensory exhibits that emphasize stories from the visionaries, designers, pilots, and crews of the space shuttle and other space-related missions. The gallery opened to the public in November 2012. Though the museum did not receive one of the four remaining shuttles, it did receive the full fuselage trainer FFT, a shuttle mock-up that was used to train all space shuttle astronauts. Because it is a trainer and not an actual shuttle, small group, no more than 6 persons, minimum age 10, maximum height 6 feet 4 inches, guided tours of the interior are available for an extra charge. The FFT began arriving in various pieces beginning in 2012. The cockpit and two sections of the payload bay arrived via NASA's Super Guppy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft on display. The Museum of Flight has more than 150 aircraft in its collection, including Lockheed Model 10E Electra Faithfully restored by pilot Linda Finch to match the aircraft Amelia Earhart was piloting when she disappeared over the Pacific Ocean Boeing 747 The first flight worthy B-747, City of Everett. Its registration number is N-7470, and it was named after the City of Everett, Washington. Its first flight was on February 9, 1969, and was retired in 1990, open for walkthrough. Boeing VC-137B SAM 970 The first presidential jet, which served in the presidential fleet from 1959 to 1996, open for walkthrough. Concorde 214 British Airways, registration G. Bogue, open for walkthrough. This is one of only four Concords on display outside Europe, with the other three being near Washington, in New York, and in Barbados. Caproni CA.20 The world's first fighter plane from World War I The one on display at the Museum of Flight was the only one ever built. De Havilland Comet The world's first jet airliner First flew 1949, in production 1952-1964. Lockheed D-21 Unmanned reconnaissance drone, displayed mounted on the M-21. Boeing 727 Retired from FedEx to Museum of Flight. Open for walkthrough Lockheed M-21 The sole surviving M-21 a variant of the Lockheed A-12. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird The surviving cockpit section of 61-7977, and State Route 71 that crashed in 1968. Boeing 737 The prototype B-737 Boeing 787 Dreamliner N-787BX, the third 787-8 prototype Lockheed Martin RQ-3 Dark Star The second Dark Star UAV prototype McCready Gossamer Albatross II Human-powered aircraft Aerocar International's Aerocar One of five surviving Aerocars, automobiles with detachable wings and propeller Liravia Lear Fan Prototype N626BL Douglas DC-2 One of only two remaining airworthy DC-2s. Boeing ATA The only surviving ATA, flown by Bob Reeve in Alaska. Boeing 727-100 E1 An ex-United Airlines B-727-100, the original prototype. Lockheed L-1049G Super Constellation 
an ex-Trans Canada Airlines Super Constellation, located originally at the Toronto Pearson International Airport which was purchased in a controversial transaction in 2005. It is currently on display at the airpark. Lamson L106 Alcor The world's first pressurized sailplane. Topic: Exhibits and facilities. On its grounds is the Personal Courage Wing (PCW) with 28 World War I and World War II aircraft from several countries, including Germany, Russia, and Japan. There is also the Red Barn, a registered historic site, also known as Building Number no. 105. Built in 1909, the building was used during the early 1900s as Boeing's original manufacturing plant. Through photographs, film, oral histories, and restoration of workstations the exhibits in the Red Barn illustrate how wooden aircraft structure with fabric overlays were manufactured in the early years of aviation and provides a history of aviation development through 1958. In June 2007 the museum opened a new space exhibit. Space, Exploring the New Frontier", which traces the evolution of spaceflight from the times of Dr. Robert Goddard to the present and into future commercial spaceflight. <inaudible> <inaudible> Restoration facility The museum maintains a restoration facility at Payne Field in Everett with about 39 ongoing projects including a de Havilland Comet 4 jet airliner, a Jetstar, the Boeing 2707 mock-up, a General Motors FM2 Wildcat, among many. A previous project, the only flyable Boeing 247 in existence, is based at the Restoration Center. A restored Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, the earliest flyable variant of the B-17 and a Boeing B-29 Superfortress in progress are currently hangered at Boeing Field. The B-17 is displayed seasonally in the summer, on the grass next to the Boeing B-47 Stratojet, in front of the museum's entrance. Topic. Museum of Flight Library and Archives The Hal V. Bracken Library at the Museum of Flight was founded in 1985. As of 2011, it contains 66,000 books and subscribes to 100 periodicals. It specializes in aerospace and aviation. There is also an online catalog. The Museum of Flight Archives is accessible to the public via the Kenneth H. Dalberg Aviation Research Center. It includes millions of photographs and thousands of linear feet of manuscript materials. Highlights of the collections include the Gordon S. Williams Photographic Collection, the Peter M. Bowers Photographic Collection, the David D. Hatfield Aviation History Collection, the Norm Taylor Photographic Collection, the Elry B. Jeppesen Aviation History and Navigation Collection, the American Fighter Aces Association Archives, the Lear Corporation Archives, and the Wright Airplane Company Collection. In December 2017, the archives launched a digital repository. The site features digitized materials from archival, library, and artifact collections. In April 2019 the archives began to make archival collections available and searchable online. Other facilities In September 2013, Raysbeck Aviation High School, formerly Aviation High School, opened in a new facility directly north of the museum's airpark. The school is operated by Highline Public Schools as a STEM school with a focus on aviation. The school operates in partnership with the museum, which owns the land, Boeing, and other members of the local aviation industry. The facility will also be used for the museum's summer education programs when school is not in session. The new aviation pavilion spans the gap between the high school and the space gallery. The cover will also allow aircraft which are seasonally brought out, such as the museum's Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and Boeing B-29 Superfortress, to be put permanently on display. 
The pavilion, constructed as part of the museum's Comprehensive Inspiration Begins Here campaign, opened to the public in June 2016 and contains 18 of the museum's most iconic aircraft. The 140,000 square foot building doubles the museum's exhibit space, and was built with help from Selen Construction and Seneca Real Estate Development. In late May 2019, the museum will open the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Park featuring the fully restored B-52 Midnight Express as the culmination of Project Welcome Home. The park will be free to the public. Topic. See also List of aerospace museums